So you boot up Blender, add a sphere or maybe dragging the shapes around in the sculpt mode and you end up with this piece of crap. Then you're gonna be like, oh my god, I can't do it. I'm not made for this. But you're doing it wrong in the first place. When you see a pro making the base shape for their character without any reference, maybe in like two hours or less, you think it should be easy, right? But it's simply not. That means that person have a lot of experience and years of work behind it. They know a lot about anatomy and you don't know shit. Or maybe you do, but not enough to do it without any reference. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a good reference in Blender and create a decent looking base for your female character using that reference image. With this method, you don't need any anatomy knowledge and it also would be a really good practice for your future projects. But before we start, make sure to check out my Gumroad and Patreon page if you want to download the real-time process video of making this mesh. I also included all of the 3D models from each step of this tutorial. You can download and use it anywhere you want, I don't care. There are also a lot of other cool stuff in there that you might find useful, so check it out. Link in the description. Let's go. First, let's remove this guy. Hold Alt and middle click to rotate the camera and fix it to the side. Shift A and in the image, click on reference image. Find the reference image we downloaded and import it in. Now to have the reference from each side, Shift D to duplicate, Escape to place it back, press R to rotate, Z to fix it on the Z axis, then press 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis. Select the front image again, then G and X or Y to move it on the horizontal axis. Now hold Alt and move the camera to make sure it's fixed exactly on the side of the image. Now move the image again horizontally until the side of the character is touching the other image. Rotate the camera to the other side and move this one by pressing G, then X or Y and stop when the line reaches the middle. Now hold Alt and fix the camera to the front view. Shift A and add a sphere. Scale it down and place it on the head. Control tab and go to sculpt mode. Choose a big sized grab brush and shape the sphere into a head. Hold Alt and rotate it to the other side and shape the sphere to the size of the head from the reference image. Back to object mode, Shift D to duplicate and make it smaller, then shape it to the size of the neck. Now duplicate the neck and escape to place it back. In the edit mode, select all and move it to the side. In the modifier properties, add a mirror modifier so we have it on the other side of the body. Then start shaping it according to the reference image. In the front view, shift A and add a sphere. Place it on the body and in the side view, scale it down to match with the size of the body. Rotate it. Go to sculpt mode and using a big grab brush, drag the top and attach it to the neck. Then shape the middle to the chest and bottom to the back. And in the front view, drag the sides to the shoulders. Shift A to duplicate. Move it on the Z axis to the bottom of the chest and rotate it. Go to the sculpt mode and form it into a stomach. You can see the shape of the stomach pretty clear from here. Now duplicate this one too. In the edit mode, press A to select it. Scale it down and move it to the side. Add a mirror modifier. Now select the chest piece again and duplicate. Move it to the bottom, rotate it and in the sculpt mode, shape it using grab brush. Make it wider to match with the waist. Select the stomach. Duplicate and press escape to place it back. Now in the sculpt mode, while in side view, using grab brush, drag it down and in the front view, push it to the middle so the other mesh sticks out of this one. Shift A and add a sphere. Scale it down and in the edit mode, press A to select it. Press S again and Z to scale it on the Z axis, then rotate it and place it on the legs. Add a mirror modifier, then Shift D to duplicate and lower it and scale it down to fit it with the bottom leg. In the side view, using a big grab brush, push the middle to the back. You can enable wireframe mode on the top to really see what's going on. For the foot, duplicate the leg, scale it down on the Z axis, rotate it, then start shaping it in the sculpt mode. As you can see, we don't have enough topology to pull this mesh any further. We can press Ctrl R in the sculpt mode to remesh it, but for more control, you can add remesh modifier and decrease the voxel size. Then while the mouse is on the modifier, press Ctrl A to apply it. Now we should be able to work on it easier. To fill out the knees, we can duplicate any of these models, make them teeny tiny and place them in the front part of the knees and then duplicate for another one in the back. We also need one for the sides as well. Then start reforming the shapes using grab brush to get it closer to the reference. Using a smaller brush, drag these parts down to make the ankle. You can go to the back view and form the bottom of the leg before moving forward. Now moving on to your favorite part, creating the breasts. We can finally add a new sphere. 
Make it smaller and place it on the chest. Rotate it and in the sculpt mode, using a grab brush, try to push the top to the bottom and bottom to the top just a bit. We want to shape it almost like a droplet. We don't use anything other than grab brush. Easily drag these parts and shape it. Don't overreact or over exaggerate. Then in the edit mode, select it and move it to one side. For the shoulders, add a sphere. In the edit mode, move it to the right or left shoulder. Then try to bend it with the body. Select the stomach, shift D to duplicate, move it to the back and shape it. We should be able to see it from the front. Moving on to the arms, bring a sphere and in the edit mode, move it to the arms. Scale it on the Z axis by pressing S and Z. So go to sculpt mode and using grab brush, push the end parts to itself to close it up a bit. Now we can fix it even more from the side view. Add a mirror modifier, then shift D to duplicate the arms and bring it down to the forearm. Then using a grab brush, form it based on the reference. Really easy. For the hands, instead of sphere, we can add a cube. Squeeze it down by pressing S, then X or Y. Rotate it and place it on the hand. Then add some loop cuts by pressing Ctrl R. Exit the edit mode. Press Ctrl 1 or add a subdivision from the modifier properties and move the mass on that modifier and Ctrl A to apply it. Now we have a smoothed out mesh with more topology that we can shape however we want using grab brush. Now in the front view, grab the left part and drag it to the left to form the base for the thumb. Shift A and add a sphere. While you're in edit mode, press A to select it and move it to the right or left and place it on the finger. Now from the side view, we can see the hand shape better. Just use the grab brush to form it the same shape as the thumb. Add another sphere, scale it down and put it on the next finger. Stretch it down by pressing S, then Z. Using a bigger brush, push it back a bit. While in the edit mode, press A to select the full mesh. Then duplicate and move it to the bottom to finish the finger. We do it in the edit mode, so the pivot point stays in the middle. Now duplicate again and move it to the next finger. Make it a bit longer by scaling it up. Again, same thing for the next finger but make this one a bit shorter and make the next one even shorter. You have fingers, just look at them. Add a mirror modifier to each finger. We are almost done with the base, but arms are way too close to the body. This might create some serious problem with the rigging. So let's select the arms, hands and fingers and in the edit mode, rotate them and just give them a reasonable space between the arms and body. The basic shape of the body is done. We can now move on to the head again and add the ears. One way to do it is to duplicate the head. And in the edit mode, move it to the right or left side of the head. Scale it down, rotate a bit, and place it on the ears. Add the mirror modifier. Now we can just use the grab brush to form it into an ear. We're still missing the collarbone. We can use another mesh we already have, like the shoulder mesh. Duplicate and bring it to the front to use as the collarbone. But we need to drag the left part to the bottom and form it to sit on the body using grab brush. For the buttocks, we can duplicate the back mesh. In the edit mode, move it to one side. Rotate it just a bit. Scale it down, add a mirror modifier. And in the sculpt mode, start shaping it using grab brush. Push it in or out depending on the size of the bottom. If you're using a reference from that famous website with the orange color, you gotta make it big. Push the sides to the inside and make it kind of flat. I don't know if you have noticed, we got a gap between these two meshes, the elbow area. We should fill it out. We can duplicate the shoulders, bring it down in the edit mode and try to fill it in using grab brush. This is our final block out for the character. We can now go ahead and retopologize it. That way we can use it in different projects because it's a base. I explained retopology fully from head to toe on these two tutorials which you can find on the top right corner. After retopologizing, we can easily smooth out these meshes and create a realistic mesh for our character. Hope you find the video helpful. If you did, like and sub would be great. And don't forget to download the mesh and lots of other cool stuff from my Gumroad and Patreon. See you on the next one. Peace.